Yo guys, what is going on? What's popping? In this video, I want to quickly show you three subject lines that you can test in your email campaigns, your flows, your automations to see if they can give you better open rates and lead to more conversions. Here we go. I'm assuming that the far majority of you, especially if you're a dropshipper, use a platform like Klaviyo or MailChimp to do email campaigns, and that's great. For this example in this video, I'm going to be using Klaviyo. Here we go. Real quick, for those of you that are curious, uh, me and Anthony are currently working on our brand every single day. Recently, we've been going extremely viral on TikTok, and so if you have any questions about going viral on TikTok, Instagram Reels, some tips on when to post, how to post, what hashtags to use for your niche, and if your niche is even able to go viral, which it probably is, feel free to rather comment below or join our Discord server. For this example, I'm going to pretend that I run a home decor niche. I sell all kinds of home decor, plates, paintings, what you name it. I'm gonna pretend that I'm one of those brands and give you three subject headlines that I would use in campaigns and automations. And then you can kind of take these for sure and apply them to your niche. If you're a pet niche, beauty niche, whatever you're in, you can definitely apply it. Here we go. So the first one that's been working really well for us recently and a lot of other people is having some kind of scarcity keyword in brackets along with a scarcity message. So in this example, I think anyone can use this if you're doing automation for a bending cart, for example, uh, you can say urgent. You've got one day to claim this and then as a preview text, complete your purchase now, complete your order now. What this is going to do is drive nothing but curiosity out of people. People are curious. They don't like being unsure. They don't like being you know, unaware of something that they want to know. Uh, and so when you interpret that into your marketing, into your email marketing, and you have something like that as a subject line, it's, it's going to do well. You're going to have high open rates. Now it comes down to what you say inside of the email, which is for a different video. But bottom line here is this is going to result in a higher click through rate than just saying, you know, like come complete your order in the subject line. And you can tailor this around too. But this is an example where if you have a discount code that actually lasts 24 hours for your people who abandon cart to come back and buy, this would be perfect for you, but you can change this around and say you've got three days, three hours, whatever it may be for you. On to number two, here we go. Number two, this is more of a campaign based kind of headline that I really recommend you try as we've had great open rates and overall just great revenue coming from campaigns like this one and it goes along the lines of five items every home has slash needs again we're doing the decor example here you can always change this for your brand little did you know that almost 50 percent of people open emails 50 percent of people choose to rather open or not open an email just based on the subject line so if you can improve that subject line you're obviously going to do better with your store again this doesn't really revolve around scarcity but it definitely revolves around the whole idea of curiosity people are curious they want to know what's going on and when Obviously, if they're subscribed to your email list, they display some kind of interest in home decor. Uh, so if you hit them with an email that literally says five items every home needs, and then inside that email, you have item one, description plus your product, item two, description, your product, so on and so forth. Um, that's going to do great. Chances are they're going to see one item they like if you have a wide variety of items, which you usually do for a brand. And this is also going to result in a higher open rate. The preview text goes along the lines of a complete list from whatever decor, whatever site your name is. And that's literally it. That's all you need to have a higher open rate. And what is a good open rate? I would say anywhere above 25% is ideal. And that's easy to attain. You can definitely do that. If you've been running email campaigns for a while and you have low open rates and you just believe that like you cannot have high open rates, that's not true. Eliminate that belief. You can have 30 to 40% open rates, no problem, if you nail this subject line. Here's number three, the last one here. Moving on to the last subject line that I think all we should test for email marketing. Again, is more of a campaign based kind of subject line. You can also probably use it for automation, but we use this more for campaigns. And this example here says, don't follow styles from 2010. And the intention of this headline, of course you can get creative, the intention of it is to kind of intertwine vanity along with a little bit of humor. Uh, so clearly it's 2020, almost 2021. Uh, but in this email subject line, it says, don't follow styles from 2010, because some people, if you look around, actually have very outdated homes. If you were to use humor properly and just get them to kind of giggle, chances are they're going to click on that ad or that email, sorry, and just see what's going on inside of there. Is their home out of date? Because people like to feel accepted. That's the whole 
you don't know what vanity means, that basically what it means in a nutshell is just like people like to feel involved, they like feeling accepted, they don't like feeling out of you know, out of style, out of shape, or whatever it may be. A headline like this will result in higher open rates. It'll have people, can, you know, really wondering, am I in style with my house or not? And if they aren't, and then you have a few products listed, of course that's gonna do well. And again, these are things that you can apply into any single niche, it doesn't matter what niche you're in. Uh, if you aren't doing email marketing, then obviously you're leaving a lot on the side. You should always be running your automations, your flows. Campaigns in terms of frequency, we kind of gonna do a whole separate video for this, but I would say frequencies would be every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. That's something we do is, we send email campaigns every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Monday is more blog style. Wednesday is more like just like a quick little like reminder, hello, what's up kind of style. And then Friday is where we hit them with all the products. We actually send out our email campaigns on Friday at 6 p.m., 5 p.m., around there because it's payday that day. And the minute they finish work, they're going to be at home on the train, wherever they are, looking to buy stuff. They're bored. It's quarantine. They want to buy stuff. If you hit them in their email at the right time with the right subject line, it's going to be very very awesome for you and I really recommend that you start doing email marketing ASAP if you aren't. And that pretty much wraps it up for this video. It's a Monday today, really good Monday. Our brand's doing very well as mentioned. Uh, we're super viral on TikTok. We just finished launching some more Snapchat ads. So we're doing Snapchat retargeting. We have Google ads running and of course Facebook ads. Um, if you guys have any questions about brand building, e-commerce, overall dropshipping as well. Uh, we've been doing this for over two years now by far, almost three years actually. And if you have any questions, feel free to rather drop them below or hit us up in the Discord channel. It's all linked below and I'll see you in the next video guys. Peace.